Amen. Amen. So now let me move on to this very important question. We are here to discuss how to finish the Great Commission in this generation. So the first thing we would like to make sure we all understand is to understand what is the Great Commission. And how are we supposed to pursue it? I want to invite you to go with me to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 28. From verse 18. It says, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So what exactly is this great commission? The word commission is, involves a number of terms. One, it involves trust. You commission someone you already trust. And it involves authority. That's why he said all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, that word means because of that fact, because all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, I am therefore commissioning you. I am giving it to you. I am putting it at your disposal. Therefore, go ye into the world and make disciples of every nation. If you look carefully, there's nowhere in all human history where any man had been asked to go do that kind of work. To go and make disciples of all nations. To teach all nations according to a certain discipline. So this was a landmark moment in the history of mankind. So what exactly is this commissioning? It is ascending with trust and authority of a particular kind of people that were sent out into the whole world with a very specific assignment. And that assignment is to turn to change nations. To transform nations according to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is not an open-ended assignment. It has a beginning and it has an end. And Jesus said, Behold, lo, I am going to be with you until the very end of this commission. So if the 
end has not yet come, we should trust that the Lord Jesus is with those that he sent. 